Hello everyone, yeah, yeah, back at it with another video, and yes, I know, another video, I've been busy with work, a lot of stress, and everything else, but this video has been requested literally by a few people, oh nice, a mighty Quinn, um, but anyways, this video is requested for the fact that it's about my Lancer, um, so I'm just gonna get into it, just real quick, let me, let me type something. You. Okay, anywho, I'm gonna see if I can get a dungeon. I don't know. It's like 1.32 in the morning for me. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get one this early in the morning. We'll see. I did queue for one, so I can kind of show my rotation. Um, at least in a live dungeon. I don't want to do the crab for the fact that I think the crab is doesn't portray as much as I think it will on a Lancer. Other classes, it's a different story. Um, but like Lancer, it's a little different. So while we're waiting, let's just get into it. Skills, I run, you know, I have my PvP set up, obviously. But let's just, you know, rally and protect. These two are a little different just for the fact that... Oop, wrong button. It's right here. In Iron Will. One is front defense, the rally. The ally protection is, well, ally protection. You know, they, they differ per um, dungeon. So, real quick, let's just get into it. Stand fast, this is just what I run. Obviously, I have 63 um, glyph points, so it's going to be a little different per person if you copy this. Um, yes, I also run the same build even on my two other Lancers, I, I believe. Um, my baby one and then my newest one. That's like 51 or 52, something like that. That's slowly building up because I end up deleting most of my characters and read, you know, making them because of um, events. Anyways, pump stand fast. This was not a priority if you don't have the points for the um just because of its chance rate. It's kind of low, um, so it's eh. But definitely, I would get power link stand fast and the reinforced stand fast because these two will help you a lot. This one is if you have the points. Otherwise, you can get away with it and not really need this for dungeons. Onslaught mines kind of around onslaught there's two builds for lancers um mine is onslaught for the fact that i always use onslaught always you know as long as the mechs provide i i always use it also too it's a good damage uh mitigator um and helps with eating mechs but i run the oop carving onslaught and, and empowered because it doubles the crit and you do more damage by 30 percent so it does a lot, especially if you have 1.5 mounts, 2.0 mounts, and 2.5 mounts. And if you have 1.5, 2.0, and a 2.5, and you know can kind of cycle through them, it does a good amount of damage. Skip challenging shout because I don't run anything. This one, excuse me, I would only honestly run if you're doing like PvP, just for that extra endurance, extra RE um, generation, and all that stuff. Shield Bash, I run everything. Blazing Shield Bash, Lingering Shield Bash, and Glyph of Power. For the fact that, I mean, you're kind of going to use it. Now, yes, Stunning Enemies only works in PvP. So, technically, you can get away with not running the increased duration. Um, but I run it regardless. Um, now, if you weren't going to run it, let me see if I have the points. You can take it down and, I guess, do... Ardent second win, but that was my like, possible only thing. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't really put it into anything else. At least in my opinion. That's just me. Shield counter. Um, RE generation by 50%. And increased aggro by 120%. Um, for this fact that I always shield cancel. Always, always, always. There is no way around it. Um, yeah, sometimes mechs do not allow you to. So you have to sit there and hold it but you're always just tapping it you don't 
do no hold you don't do nothing else you tap it go into a skill tap it go into a skill or you tap it she'll counter tap it she'll counter tap it she'll counter as long as you have the cooldowns leash pvp debilitate for me guys this is pointless just for the fact that one i don't care about the mp elimination cost by 35 percent that chance rate per point doesn't really matter to me and the Lyrian debility, I know some people run it, some people don't. I'm one of those ones that doesn't run it just for the fact that, yeah, sure, you get, you know, a 35 second, you know, count on it and everything. But for me, I'm always hitting debilitate, which means my debilitate for the most part is always up. The only time it's not up is when I have to either run out or stop what I'm doing, which is, you know, only a few dungeons where I, I have to actually stop what I'm doing. Um... So this per point cost for me is pointless. That's just my opinion. Now, you know, again, you're you're always hitting debilitate on on a lancer. At least what I do, I will show my build or at least my rotation. Um, to show that real real quickly, I'm hoping I still get a dungeon to actually show it. But yes. Oh, I did retaliate. Nothing infuriate. Obviously, you got to get that cooldown reduction. Spring attack. The increased skill damage, obviously. Nothing in charging lunge. And I know I'm going to kind of speed this up a little bit. Sorry. We just got the dungeon, so. Second win. Nothing at, at all. Now, if this had the, you know, for, if, if, if you could decrease the point cost on this, I would swap out, obviously, shield bash for this to bring down the cooldown. But we don't have that adrenaline rush, obviously, for that extra attack speed by 10% every single time, which will go into this. Shield barrage, more aggro, obviously. Lockdown blow, that extra damage. I don't run anything else. Everything else is um, once PvP. Now, yes, you could swap it out for the increased aggro. I don't because of everything else. I typically run front defense. Wall up, obviously, the damage by 25%. And the carving wall up doubles the chance to crit. That is everything in my glyph points. Now let's get into this. Now, ooh, I'm going to fail. This is not going to reflect, I don't think. Uh, I got lambs. Names are not going to do much. Hold on. Let me go out real quickly. I'm only saying this because typically you're going to buff up and everything. Um, it is what I think it's like Terra Hot Time or something. Um, which means skills are drastically reduced. So this is going to amp up my damage a little a little bit per second obviously for the fact that everything is on a cooldown like intense cooldown like look at that 12 seconds on second wind which means every 12 seconds i can literally heal myself for almost 72 75 thousand and then basically run up debilitate enrage a rush bruge onslaught lockdown debilitate spring Wall up, super late. R1, onslaught, lockdown, debilitate, wall up, super late, dodge. Oh. But yeah, that's typically it. I mean, how I start everything. I always go into debilitate first, do that chain, cancel, onslaught rotation back to debilitate, R1 to maintain aggro. And then if that chains up, obviously, that's it. Like, that's just it like i mean i don't know what else to really say about this you know i mean it's just now yes i would say my damage is increased a bit that's why i run front defense because now he's gonna sit here and just do a mech Keep that up. I could have done the same thing to that one.
But yeah, that's that's literally it. Like, I mean, I'm trying to slowly, like, I guess, show it. Real quickly, let's do this build. We got Mystic. But yeah, some debilitate, spring, wall up, super. Um, if the mech requires onslaught or shield bash onslaught lockdown, which as the chain allows, it'll go into wall up, super leap. If those are down, I typically go into my R1. Which is shield barrage one two spring wall up super you know and then if something's down i need a filler i'll go charge wall up super leap see debilitate always keep up debilitate because you want to build up them stacks as fast as possible for your group like that is a must 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 Now, if I was being a super sweat, um, I would activate uh, my root beers and everything, but I just don't care right now. You know, it's early in the morning. I'm going to request a video and everything that I have, you know, I've been having done in a long time. So, yeah, so I'm, this ain't going to completely reflect um, just for the fact that it's like, a, you know, hot time and everything in Terra. So everything's you know, going to be mad like cooldown and everything so yeah but that's basically my rotation you know and i will do it one more time and you know outside this dungeon i just wanted to actually show it in the dungeon where i can actually you know stack you know debilitate three times kind of show hey block see tap it now wall up super leap get that perfect defense Holy, 36 mil, god dang. <laughs> Jesus. But like, let's see if I can show it here. Like being like kind of a super, I mean, not, not like a super sweat, but like a little bit of a sweat. Just a little bit. Mm. And yes, this is allowed too for the fact that I am in Kaya's gear. I got the weapon to plus six. And um, my stigmas, guys, they are full CD as you see. Um, but you can still get away with it. I did. In Frax gear. Debilitate. Onslaught. Cancel. Debilitate again. Super leap. Dodge. R1. Debilitate. Keep that up. Debilitate. Charge. Wall up. Super leap. Onslaught. Debilitate. Onslaught. Debilitate. Wall up. Super leap. Filler. Cancel. Cancel. But that's that's it. Now, yes, like I said, I'm gonna do it one more time. Um, kind of slower outside this dungeon because like it is hot, you know, Terra hot time and everything. What the flip? What's called? Oh shoot! I got a heroic oath box. Oh hey 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 hey. Thank you for the carry, everyone. I'm out of here. I did not honestly expect that. Jesus. 
<sighs> okay. Um, okay. I can't really complain, actually. I mean, that means one of my, my newest character is pretty much going to be somewhat taken care of now. Yeah. I wonder if I have another one in my bank, too. Okay, but since now we have, you know, our normal cooldowns and everything. So, if I'm, you know, for example, with a sweaty group. Like, if I'm with, um, his name's Empress. One of the, I would say, top Valks. If I'm with Vela... Um, Barry, one of the, you know, two Reapers that, um, I party with time to time, um, and everything. So if I was in a dungeon, I typically, you know, one, I typically run, run, run a, oh, it didn't, it must have taken it off. Yeah, it did. Um, an aggro crystal. Just for the fact that I need to maintain aggro. You know, if I'm with a, you know, speedrun group or a sweaty group, you know, regardless of it being a speedrun or not, it's going to be sweaty, you know, depending on your group. So I'm going to charge in, cancel, shout, infuriate, a rush, brooch, debilitate, go into this chain. Then if the mech allows, you know, if I have to. Shield, Onslaught, Lockdown, Debilitate, do this chain again as much as I can, R1, and if Super Leap is off CD, I will use Super Leap, um, and then Debilitate again, because I I try and fit my three stacks of Debilitate within the first, you know, 5%, so I'm sitting there, Debilitate, do this chain real quickly, if I have to, uh, Shield Bash, Onslaught, Debilitate again, Fill it real quickly, cancel it, debilitate against so have the three stacks and everything. You know, of course, while well, A rush is up, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, doing super leaps and everything. Um and all that. You know, it's just for me, I try and fit in the first like five percent of the health that I try and get three stacks off. And that's typically how I do it. Um with all that. Now my bar is standard. The only thing that I've changed is the Buff bar, I call it. It's my D-pad. Now, yes, do I need to have in you know infuriate hot bar? Not necessarily, for the fact that it is chained to the regular challenging shout. I have it separate for the fact that I don't need to always shout. Is the thing, you know? Again, if I'm with a sweaty group, I may have to shout, you know, which is why I have infuriate hot bar. Lock on. I know I didn't use it. I don't care right now. It's like. 150 in the morning, so I don't care. I mean, I didn't even need to even try that hard. Um, but yeah, that's honestly all I do. My chains, again, I mean, this is mainly for HH as it was, um, and PvP. So, I mean, do you really need to use them? No, they don't really generate that much aggro. So, do as you please. If you copy my bar, cool. I mean, it's all right. Um, but yeah, um, let me see. Do I have it? Recent screenshots. Um, oh, no. I guess I show it. Don't know if I should. I'll do it regardless. So I did send it right here. Double pounding right there, guys. It's proof. 2 minutes 33 seconds, 10.06 mil per second. Same bar, same buffs, everything. This is the crab, you know, which is why it's, you know, both of these are non slaying. This was with an aggro crystal, 2 minutes 58 seconds, 8.62 mil. Um, so, yes, same, same everything, literally, guys, nothing different. Um, but, yeah, so I, that is my build, that is my rotation. Um, that's how I start a sweaty group versus, well, not sweaty group, I guess to call it. I mean, I just ran in and just held aggro. Um, and yeah, you know, I guess all, all I can say is that if there's any confusions, questions, comments, concerns, just let me know. Um, if you see me in the game, let me know, whisper me, um, don't. I mean, shoot me a PSN, fine. 
Um, I'll try and catch them, but if I'm in an AA or CS, I will probably mute that, to be honest, for the fact I got it. You know, those two dungeons have color max. Same thing with um, RM. Those three have color max. I got to see them, you know. Um, I might link my Discord if requested. I'll link it just so people can message me. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, I mean, there, there's multiple ways to, to get to me. If you see me in the game, whisper me or whatever, or just leave a comment on the video. Um, and I will get to it honestly as I can with it being, you know, Christmas now anyways of this recording. Um, and New Year's around the corner. I'm still going to be busy, so I'm not going to be honestly uploading for the fact that I am busy at work. Like I'm finishing my nine day stretch. Um, and all that. But anyways, guys, like I said, recording this video, it is Christmas. Merry Christmas. Be safe. All that stuff. Don't be stupid. Um, because it has been getting cold. So it's been snowing in some places. It's been getting icy, like here in Oregon. Um, it did get really icy. I honestly almost crashed. So hit the barrier and all that stuff. So I, you know, uh, I could not go to work. But enough of that. Not trying to get all sappy and everything just be safe guys and on and i will upload as i can to be honest um and i'll try and go back to my schedule I'll, i don't know if i will be completely or not but that's why i say i will try and yes i will upload those other videos of cod that i've yet to upload about the campaign i just been been busy guys but anyways like i said again merry christmas love you all and I'll see you again whenever I, I upload. Um, if there happens to be a video that does get requested, I will obviously you know let know, hey, this is requested. Only reason why I'm doing it. Um, and if there's honestly a game you guys want me to see, uh, let me know. I'll you know I'll put it on the list or make a list and you know do it like that. Anyways, guys, I am out of here. Bye bye.